Dear viewers, to create a successful investment journey, you should visualize your journey first of all. You should know how the road ahead, what happens at which points of time, what are the things that you need to do all along your journey. If you are able to visualize ahead of time, you create a very, very successful investment journey. In this episode, I'm going to talk to you about how you can visualize and how you can prepare yourself to create that success in your investment journey. This is NRA Money Clinic for you and I am Dr. Chandra Kanbat, your financial guide for a happy living. NRI Money Clinic. No hype, just the right advice. You would have seen great movies and you would have appreciated fantastic content, fantastic storytelling and the thrill it creates. But think about a director. He should visualize the entire movie before it is shot and presented to you. He has to visualize himself how the shots will come, how the actors have to perform, what scenes has to be done, how the climax scene should be, everything he has to visualize. Consider your life. You are an investor and you are the director of your life. If you have to create that great movie of successfully reaching your life goal, you should be able to visualize this right from the starting till the day you reach your life goal. What are the things you need to do? Let's look at it from a real life example and let's see whether we can find similarities in this. Investor's journey is exactly like climbing onto the Mount Everest. There are not many people who reach the Mount Everest. The story of investors is same. People invest. Do they really reach that summit? Very, very few of them reach Mount Everest. The levels in the Mount Everest in the investing world. Why does it happen? Let's look at the journey of climbing onto the Mount Everest. What exactly happens and how it exactly resembles that of the investor's journey. To visualize this, I would suggest you one step. There are so many movies on Mount Everest, movies like Summit Everest. I suggest take your time out, watch one of these movie, enjoy the movie and then think how your investment journey should begin. That tells you your investment journey is same as climbing onto the Mount Everest. So many people start, very few people reach there, many people come back in between. You understand the challenges which go through that. You go through that fear, greed, every cycle you see in the Mount Everest climbing exercise. I was very lucky to meet Arunima Sinha. I had a chance to talk to her on the sidelines of one of the events in Bangalore. I heard speaking about her journey to climb onto the Mount Everest. Arunima Sinha is not just one another mountaineer. She is exceptional. She is the only lady with an amputated leg, she climbed onto Mount Everest. She really inspires. She inspires everyone. Everybody could be a mountaineer. You can prepare, you can execute, and you can climb onto Mount Everest. But to climb on Mount Everest with an amputated leg is not a joke by any stretch of imagination. Why I'm trying to tell you the story of Arunima Sinai here? The reason is very simple. Many people think the investment and working for life goals is only for people with lots of money. If I have very less amount of money, if I do not have adequate amount of money, then investment is not for me. That's not the truth. Arunima Sinha inspires you. In spite of being crippled, you can still achieve a lot of things. Arunima Sinha was not a born crippled woman. She became crippled because of callousness of society, for the unfortunate events which unfolded in her life. But she did not allow that to detract her from her goal of doing something great in life. It's just not that she climbed on Mount Everest. She climbed several peaks like Mount Kilimanjaro and several others. She is an inspiring lady. If you are an investor, you should find stories of Arunima Sinha on YouTube or maybe one day she will come in one of the movies. It will inspire someone to create a movie taking cues from her life as well. Your investment journey is not a two minute noodle nor it is an instant coffee. That's what the youngsters of today think. I start investing 
and within a short span of time i will hit the success no it will not happen like whatever could be the advances in the technology whatever could be the advances which has been made in the society but your investment journey is an arduous journey it takes time it requires enormous amount of preparation planning staying the course staying between the fear and greed this calls for your success or climbing of mount everest it all starts with a desire in you if you want to climb mount everest which is the success of your investment journey reaching your life goal it should start with your desire unless you have the desire nothing moves there are a lot of people in the world how many people invest even if you take the developed countries people who invest in the stock market is hardly about 30% maybe 35 40% in countries like us if you look at a country like india i can say for certain less than 5% of the population really get into a serious investment mode there is no desire there is no information or there is no plan which goes with it if you want to climb the mount everest it starts with a desire what happens after that you just can't go and walk on a mount everest you have to prepare first thing is you have to prepare how far it is how much money it takes for me to reach there what is the time that i should start how much time it might need how much money i might need the same story with your investment you identify your life goals you understand when you have to reach where and you prepare a budget and you set the course that's the starting point for most people it becomes like a new year resolutions they get a desire overnight and this desire goes off within a few weeks or within a few days or a couple of months only those investors who have a desire and follow it up with a concrete plan will reach that summit of mount everest the next stage is you draw a plan now you have a desire and you have done your budgeting and you have calculated and you are prepared that's not sufficient now you have to draw up a plan the plan involves in case of a mount everest climbing is you start from your territory and go to a base camp then from there onwards you move in steps to different different camps over a period of time you get acclimatized to mountain conditions you get used to that biting cold you get used to that winds you get accustomed to low oxygen uh, all along the mountain you get acclimatized what happens in case of investment the similar thing you don't come and start and climb onto the mount everest suddenly you have to start very slowly you should understand the different asset classes what happens how does the fixed income work how does the equity work how does the commodity work what is the interrelation between interest and inflation what changes it might do to your portfolios so this is the passing through the different stages you should get acclimatized you should take time to understand how these things will work in your favor if you do not understand this and you jump into the investing world with a big chunk of money disaster could follow once you go through all these steps your desire your budgeting moving into the base camp getting acclimatized to the weather the final step is climbing the final leg of the mount everest when you climb you watch this movie you will see lot of horror stories there the biting cold the unbearable winds and you see the dead bodies of previous mountaineers which are still lying there all along what does it tell you for an investor this speaks about all those guys who try to invest burned their fingers never recovered from this and they never came back to the investing world but these horror stories should not deter you from going towards mount everest they should either inspire you or they should caution you they should inspire because out of that fear you should not come back you should try to climb further up that's inspiration they should also caution you caution you because you should find out why they died they could have died because of they did not take enough time to acclimatize themselves they could have tried to climb without the help of a sherpa which is your financial guide they could have died because of scant regard for the safety feature they could have died because of their lack of preparation they could have dared to go there without oxygen insufficient oxygen or they could have also died because of unfair weather conditions or they could have died there because of very hostile weather condition let it be any the reason but it should caution you and prepare yourself if you were to encounter similar situation how prepared are you the dead bodies 
all along the Mount Everest should inspire you, it should give a caution to you. If you stay the course and if you still follow, you will reach Mount Everest. You also need a bit of luck, right? Many a times when people go for uh, climbing the Mount Everest, they are told that you have to get back because the weather is not favorable for you. You should heed to the advice and you should not become blind to the advice of your Sherpas and you should come back. A matter of luck also gets involved in this. And if you don't care and if you still go, then maybe you will become one of the victims of mountaineering. You conquer all this and climb the summit. Then what? This is the time. Again, you have to be very, very cautious. You are one of the lucky few who could reach there. But there are more to it. When you conquer that summit, what happens? You will become complacent. When you hit success in your investing journey, especially for those people who make lots of money in the initial phase, you tend to become complacent. And you know, when people die, when they try to conquer the Mount Everest, it is when they come back after the summit, that is the time they make a mistake and they die. For an investor too, the story is same. You make money and you become complacent and you think I have mastered this field. And that is the time market beats you and it makes you suffer big losses. If you have conquered the summit, consciously remember, you should not become complacent. You should follow the same safety features. You should follow the same protocol. What took you to summit? And every moment you are there, you should consciously remember. Then you can come back safely and you can, you can enjoy that your success in your investment journey or climbing onto the Mount Everest. So the journey onto the Mount Everest and creating a success in investment journey appears simply similar. Dear viewers, what do you think about the story that I have told you? What visualization you create when you start your investing journey? Please do let me know how do you visualize your journey? Can you take one another real life example and tell how the investor journey is same? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. Dear viewers, hope the video that I have done today gave you one example of how you can visualize your investment journey and give you a direction to create a successful investment journey. Please do like this video. We produce similar videos week after week. These are the videos which are full of value for you. If you like the content, do subscribe for this channel. If you are yet to subscribe for my channel, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. Don't forget to share this video with your near and dear ones. Thank you very much for watching this episode on NRI Money Clinic. I shall be back with you next Friday on yet another episode of Your Life, Your Money. Till then, stay safe. Press the bell icon for more details and subscribe our channel.